Tamika Mallory. What's what's the? I'm I'm just curious to ask because you say you could be in the hood any day. You could be like, what's a, what's a day like for 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 Tamika? Like, how does that work? Like, what's a day like for you? So the day for me today is that I um, had to go to a rally this morning. So uh, on the other side of this computer is my sweatsuit and my <laughs> Timberlands <laughs> that right. I just had on, <laughs> and then I had a photo shoot and a, a, a another interview. And now I'm talking to you and I'm right. going to take all of this off and I'm going to put the sweatsuit back right. on and I'm going back through Harlem because I need to meet I need to meet my friend at another little rally. So it's just it, it's interchangeable. But you got to right. be able to do the streets and the suites because otherwise you can't translate the message to everyone. I, I, I feel you. I had some Chuck Taylors on earlier today, so I, I know where you're coming from. <laughs> I swear to you. And I, and I hear that Harlem menu is crazy. Harlem is special. Harlem breeds special you people. You know it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it breeds special people. They're different. You know, they do yeah. special things. You you've been called one of the most um, powerful speakers in, in, in this generation. Like, how does that feel? You know what? I know it's only God because usually, Jeezy, I work really hard on my speeches, right? Because mm. I'm always first of all. Um, one of the insecurities that I have that I'm trying to get beyond. And I'm also clear that I wasn't supposed to be an Ivy League student. That was, mm. God, I didn't have that for me, right. right? But when I look at some of my colleagues, some of the uh, people who I respect in this work, like Angela Rye and B Brittany Packman, and there's, a, you know, the names go on, Alicia Garza, I respect these women. They are... Uh, you know, very studied. They speak very well. Sometimes I sit and I listen to them in awe of how well they're able to put the English language, you right. know, into translation and they can flow in and out. And so one of the insecurities has been for me that when I was uh, supposed to be in school, getting that knowledge, I was pregnant. I had a baby. Wow. I just told you my son is going to be 22 years old. And I lost a lot of time and a lot of things that I think would have helped to give me more confidence. So I struggle sometimes with the idea that, um, you know, the way in which I communicate is not always the best. And then I found out one day that that's exactly what I'm supposed Absolutely. to be doing, right? Like the, the way in which I'm able Absolutely. to translate a message is exactly Back the me. way that God wants me to bring it forth Absolutely. because what's for me is only for me and what's right. for everyone else is for them. Right. And I can appreciate, and I think my, my um, and I don't even know if this was the question you asked me, but I'm gonna answer it this way anyway. One of the things that I think um, I've been blessed with is the ability to understand the most, uh, the most intellectual statements and translate it in a way that anybody can get it. And so when I, when oh, you were asking about someone saying the the the, the greatest speech or whatever, the great words that have been used to speaker, describe yeah, those moments. Usually, I sit and I work really hard on what I'm trying to relay so that I do a good job, right? We all want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. We want to mm -hmm. be our best. This particular day in Minneapolis specifically, I was not prepared. Right. I didn't have time to um, write a speech. I just had to show up and speak from my heart. But there is nothing like a Black woman who is enraged. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was in that moment. I was, I was dealing with my own rage and I just allowed my truth to be told through God, I mm. let God move and say what he wanted to say out of my mouth. And it obviously was the thing that inspired uh, a, a generation of people, maybe even more than that. And it also resonated with folks all over the world. I was walking past a church. I don't, I don't know exactly what the denomination of this church is, but I know it wasn't a black church. And I just happened to see that outside on the bulletin, and you know, at the in the church, the bulletin is super important. Anything right. they write on that bulletin <laughs> outside means something. And right. it was the entire speech that I made. Wow. In in Minneapolis around wow. George Floyd's murder. Wow. Um, and and that for me, when I saw that, I was like, okay, God, I hear you. 
Just use the use what you have and stop working so hard right. to be what you're not. Right. It, it to to me, I think that's um from the outside looking in. Of course, I think that is your gift that he gave you. You you you're right in the middle. It's just like you know how to talk to the people. You you know how to you know how to connect with the struggle, and and you go get it from the other side. And I I've learned that as well because. I, I pride myself on being able to get outside of my box and get information and mm -hmm. then bring it back to the culture. It, almost like a Robin Hood, if you will. You know, because the same thing with you. I dropped out of school in the sixth grade. So I had to get my GED when I was incarcerated. And, um, you know, I, I've been in rooms where I'm like, wow, like, these people are really smart. But I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. I can get anything. Right, right. So I get <laughs> if you it. You grow up in the projects. <laughs> right. You can get anything. Right, right. You understand everything. <laughs> but they don't. But they don't have. They don't have that it factor. They don't have that charisma that makes people mm -hmm. go, oh, and and, and and sometimes simple is simple is the best way. You can take it. You you, you process it, and and you give it to the people when it's simple. I mean, even in music, you know, I, I've seen musicians and artists. That are cr like they go in the booth and you're like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. I, my thing was always being able to talk to the people. Like I'm not even going in there like I'm gonna be the dopest and I'm gonna write the it's just like this is how I really feel. And 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 I commend you on that, just being honest, because you know, you inspire people like myself. You know what I mean? Cause I and I told you that yeah. on the on the Zoom call because I was yeah, like I was like, what do we do? What do we say? We in the pandemic, I don't, you know, and and, and you just came out of nowhere. And you spoke like a true queen. And we all sat back and said, okay, she gets it. She knows the way. Let's pay attention. And yeah. you was very influential on that. And, and, and you stood strong. You stood tall. And a lot of what happened out there had a lot to do with you. Because once you said what you said, we all focused. So, you know, just know you did that. Well, you well listen, let me put a disclaimer in there. Because when you said a lot of what happened out there... People burn shit down too. Right, so let's right. not look, don't give me that. <laughs> I don't want to claim right. the, 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 the you know the burning down of right. the police precinct that right. when people saw the precinct going down, I'm not gonna lie to you. Right. I can't lie. We all had this feeling that was like, this is terrible, but this right. is what you have get to do. Right. You right. know, it's what you it's where you push people right. to. Right. And I, I just want to make sure to give a lot of credit to my uh, the, the my uh, co-host on the show Street Politicians, which is uh, launching now, and, right. uh, which is my new podcast on Charlemagne nice. Network, nice. Um, and also to uh, my co-founder at Until Freedom, my son, the general. You know, he was he has been a stabilizing force in terms of trying to help me live in my truth, mm. and it was based upon exactly what you said. You know, my son's thing with me was, why do you keep, he's, he, I would come off the stage sometimes and he'd be like, that was boring. And I'm like, what? Like, I just said all this great stuff. He's like, it was boring because mm. you sat there and you basically tried to speak in a way that people don't get it. Just mm. speak the way that you speak. Mm. And if you do that, it's going to resonate. And, and I started to get more comfortable trying to, trying to, you know, again, just live in my own skin. And it was because my friends, the people I work with, Linda and Angelo and my son, they edified me and told me that I was enough. Right. When we'll be right back with more worth of conversation right here with Tamika Mallory on Fox Soul. 